everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is the whole month of July. This is everything that I bought. I spent about $650 this month, which is a lot of money. <laughs> But I'm still stocking up my fridge and my freezers since um, I have recently moved. So this is everything that I got in the whole month of July, which I still think is pretty awesome. I finally live close to a Kroger, which I'm so, so very thankful for because I am getting deals after deal after deal. So, so excited for that. So if you guys like grocery hauls, give me a big thumbs up. Let's get started. Hey everybody, this is everything I bought in the month of July. So we are at the very beginning of the month. This is July 2nd, so I wanted to share with you everything that we got. Of course, um, I'm in my new home, so I am stocking up. So as you can see, I have lots of stock up stuff. Um, I finally officially live close to a Kroger and I am loving it, you guys, saving so much money. So this side over here is going to be Dylan. So I'm going to start on this side. Look at this. I got some discount chicken, 84 cents a pound. That is a great price. These were $3 each. This big old thing was about five bucks. Then I got some butters that were on sale for $2.49 each. This was on sale and I had a, um, I bought a rebate for it. So it ended up being 90 cents. Some Peppers, this was $2, great price. You guys, this was an amazing price. I was so, so excited about it. These were $1.99 each, and then I thought it was giving me back a dollar each, so I got each of these for 99 cents. It was actually $1.99. So I got all of that for 99 cents. Super, super awesome about that. These were $1.99. I didn't even realize that these were jalapeno. That's silly. Well, surely my husband will enjoy that. This one's not. <laughs> I didn't even realize that the rest of these were jalapeno. Oh well, my husband will enjoy those. <laughs> and then um, this marinade was actually cheaper than Walmart, so I was excited about that. $1.79 for these dressings, so I wanna stock up on that. We love having this with like a taco salad, so great. These were on sale as well. I think they were like a dollar. Um, yeah, a dollar for those. These were on sale, $1.79, really great price. Look at this, we got some clearance here. 37 cents each is what these came out to be. My kids were thrilled. I know they're not the healthiest, but it was an amazing price, so I went ahead and splurged on that. Um, I love having this Giovanni ice, um, this Giovanni yogurt. I think it's great. I usually get the full fat one, um, just because I like things a little bit more um, fatty. That's the way it's more satiating. And I try to get stuff that doesn't have any added sugars. So six grams of um, natural sugars is totally fine for me. Three grams of fat and seven carbs. So I think that's fine. I don't usually do three-fourths a cup. And then I add just like a little bit of my um, alternative sugar kind of stuff um, to this so that it is a little bit on the sweet side but it doesn't have like the cane sugar or anything like that. That's bad for you. Um... So I bought three of these because these were $1.99 each. I thought that was a pretty decent price. Look at that, $1.96, $1.96 for some. It all looked good. It just looks like one, maybe a little bit right here wasn't the best, but overall it looked pretty good. So I might have to take like one leaf off, which is way better than $4 is kind of the normal of these type of romaine hearts. So that's fine. I'll take off a couple leaves and call it good. <laughs> um, better than paying the $4. This was $1.99. I don't know if it's really that good of a price. There's only 10 ounces, so I don't know. I need to look at to see how much Teddy Grahams are, but we don't really have any snacks in the house, so I wanted to kind of get some snacks. This was, I got a rebate for this, and it was on sale. So I grabbed one of that Chips Ahoy that was on sale, $1.99. Um, I grabbed five things of cereal. I like to have cereal twice a week. That is it. I don't try to let them have it more than that just because it's really not that healthy for them. Um, but it's great to have on hand for <laughs> the times that you don't have anything to make for your children or you just really don't want to cook. So cereal is great. This was $10 and then I got, um, I think $2 back, no, $3 back on Ibotta. And then I got a dollar ten back on um, Fetch Rewards, so it made this a pretty decent price. I did get some um, 
um, ice cream. My husband loves having these like ice cream sandwiches in there for him. It's kind of like his late night snack. So I love getting these for him just because they're super cheap. They're only $2 a box. Um, we are going to give some out to my uh, my husband's grandpa since we live close to him now and he is older and can't get out and about so we're going to give some of this to him as well um, and I think oh and then we got ice cream bluebell six dollars you guys right now I think it's almost eight or nine bucks so six dollars we'll take that um I think that is everything when it comes to Kroger Dylan's is what it is and we spent about $150 on um, everything that you see at Dylan's. I think I did skip over, I did get some broccoli and then there was a cucumber in here as well. Um, I grabbed some salad, I don't know if I said that either, but yeah, that is it. So about 150 bucks is what I spent at Dylan's. And then moving on, we're going to go over to Aldi. That is where I went to next on this day. So I grabbed some chips and then we have a whole bunch of evaporated milk and black beans and corn and green beans and just a little bit of peas because my husband absolutely hates peas. Um, we desperately needed some corn. We desperately needed some carrots. So I grabbed some carrots. I was completely out of tuna. So I grabbed a whole bunch of tuna. I love all these is, um, these like blueberry preserves, they're so good and much better for you than, you know, Welch's or whatever you can get. We needed some garlic, so I grabbed this thing of garlic from Aldi. Also needed some Alfredo sauce, I grabbed that there. We are completely out of snacks like I've said before, so I love having these applesauce pouches on hand. Um, and then I also love having the cups. I love having all the different varieties. I love having applesauce for the kids. As long as it's no added sugars, I'm completely fine with that. So none of these have any added sugars, so we're great with that. And then I needed some gold, yellow gold potatoes. We needed some pasta in our stockpile. I don't really have a whole lot, so I grabbed quite a bit of pasta. This, um, we had some avocado oil and extra virgin olive oil, which was only about $5.50. So that's a really great price for some olive oil. I needed some pancake mix. Um, I grabbed some beef broth, some cream cheese, Velveeta cheese, basically. Addie wanted some <laughs> cookies, so I picked, she, I let her pick those out. I'm really enjoying these like dried apples. They're so good. Absolutely delicious love them better than having like chips we needed some grapes these were a dollar 39 a pound i think so that's a pretty good price the bacon was six dollars sausage was about two bucks um juice was under two bucks the orange juice i think was like three bucks so not too bad got some bread we needed some bread um i didn't say this but i did get this at dylan's and it wasn't an awful price but it wasn't the best price either but i did need some eggs and these were 12 dollars each Grab some sourdough. I love a good sourdough. I need to start making my own sourdough. Grab some mandarin oranges. My kids love having that. And I think that's it. I think that is all that I got. At Aldi, I spent about $170 for everything that you see here. So some really, really awesome and great deals. So spending $320, not a bad start of our month. Um, we got a bulk of what we're going to need for the month. So I'm excited for what this month holds and getting our stock pile completely filled up. So I'll see you in the next one. Okay, today is July 7th and here is everything I have today. Not a very big haul. I spent only about 35 bucks. So I need to get some pork chops. This was the best that I could find. I was trying to find something closer to $2 per pound, but I could not. So I got two of those, some pork sausage patties. Love having that in the mornings. Uh, I got some maple extract because I like to make my own syrup, but sometimes I don't always have it on hand. So I did get some extra syrups just in case. I like having the sugar free for myself. And then just some like real maple syrup that doesn't have the corn syrup or anything like that. Um, we're gonna have some chili and I guess this weekend, so I wanted to go ahead and grab two of these. These chili ready diced tomatoes kind of looked good. And then I needed one bag of chopped spinach. And that's all that I got. Not a lot to show for for 35 bucks, but that's what I spent today. Okay, today is July 12th. And here is my 
haul that I got today. So um, I spent just under $80. I spent about $79 and some change. Let me share with you what I got. I needed some salad, so I got some salad on sale, some broccoli. This is two pounds for $2.70. Y'all, that's an awesome price that are already cut and ready to go. That's super easy to throw together for meals. Uh, this was on sale, oh, $1.50 on. I already gave my children some, so we're good to go there. Uh, I got this for $2. These all were $3 each for a pound, so it's a really good price. This was $1.99. I love having Ballpark. I love their buns and also their hot dog meat. It's like probably one of the better ones, I think, in my opinion. So I love to get their buns. They're really good and soft and everything. I wanted to get some potato salad for something that I'm be going to tonight along with these chips. Otherwise, I would not normally get chips. But um, we're going to kind of like a an event party tonight. So I wanted to grab some sides. I grabbed some grapes. They were $1.49 a pound. I wanted to get some of this Annie's macaroni and cheese. It's just a better option when it comes to macaroni and cheese. They were not on sale, but they weren't an awful price. They were $1.79 each. If you buy four, I bought it. It's going to give you a dollar back. And then also um, Dylan's, which is Kroger, had a dollar off of four as well. Okay, so I got the Kellogg cereal was $1.99 and I also had an about a rebate getting 75 cents off. So making $1.25 a box was not a horrible price. I got five of the General Mills cereal because if you buy five, I had a coupon for $2 off. Also, I bought it's going to give me 75 cents off each box. These were $1.99 as well. So it came out to be like two something for all five of them, which is so crazy. So I am stocking up on cereal. I'm coming to a point where I don't need to stock up so much anymore. But when I see a good deal, you guys, I I pounce on it. Uh, the eggs were $1.49 each. So I grabbed five of those because that's kind of the max that I'm allowed to get. These were $2.49 each. If you bought three, you get a dollar off with the coupons at Dylan's. I also got 75 cents off. I bought it and then I also got 90 cents off for from Fetch Rewards. So that was awesome price, which came out to like a dollar sixty each. These crackers, my kids like the cheese crackers. These were two fifty for eight of them, not an awful price. I needed some petite diced tomatoes. I grabbed some pizza. These were $2.99 each. They were on sale this week. I just grabbed two. And then this was two, no, $3.60. I think it's $3.69 actually. So I grabbed two of those. I like having, um, well, my husband likes to have orange juice in the morning. So I grabbed two of those. So yes, 80 bucks. You guys, that means that each and every one of these was under $2 per item. Most of these retail for like $3 each. So I am very pleasantly surprised with everything that I got this week. So I will see you in the next one, guys. All right, here's my haul this week. Today is July 17th. So let me share with you everything that I got. I spent about $170, so just a little bit over. Um, so next week I won't do as much. So here we go. I went to Kroger. So let me share with you some awesome deals that I scored on this week. These were 25 cents each. So I grabbed four. I'm like, I can always throw those in the freezer. Those would be great. Um, anytime we want to do a cookout or anything like that, I can just grab it on my freezer. It's an awesome price. I went into some bread. You guys, bread's like $1.70 for like the off brand. That's crazy to me. I grabbed two of these. This was buy one, get one free. Um, each one was $3.99. Um, so I grabbed two of them for $4 and then I got $1.70 back on fetch. So that made them what two thirty for two of them, which made them a dollar fifteen each. Really great price. I don't even think you can get that anywhere, not Aldi or anything like that. So that's an awesome price. Got some go karts because I like to have these. My kids like to have these with their lunches. Two seventy for twenty of them for a name brand. Awesome. And Fetch gave me a bunch of rewards for you you play as well so that was an awesome awesome deal these were a dollar 49 each i grabbed five of them with kroger kind of like their thing is you know max is five so a lot of things you'll see me buy is five of each thing so i just let my kids pick out some more i this will probably be my last <laughs> cereal haul for a while because we have plenty i've been doing lots of stock up on cereal 
but this is great like this is a better price that you could get like bulk at sam's or at costco this comes out to be like 10 cents per ounce so seriously a good price i've been getting like cheerios and just some cereals um to have because my kids even though they only eat cereal twice a week um it goes by fast because i have four of them <laughs> Um, grab these. These turned out to be about $3 a pound. Um, so not like an awful price, not an awesome price either, but just a decent stock up price. I think the only price that's cheaper is Costco and I just don't go there very often. So, um, went ahead and stocked up on those. So I grabbed five things of cheese. This is really where the bulk of my budget went though. Um, but it was worth it. <laughs> we love to have roast on Sundays. That's just our thing. $8.54 and I think this is close to three pounds. It came out to be about, um, well, I think the prices on all these clearance items are $3 a pound. You guys, that is amazing considering that right now, meat i think it's close to seven to eight dollars a pound when it comes to i love the chuck roast um so that's an awesome price getting it for three dollars a pound so i grabbed all the clearance ones that they had um there wasn't very many they only had three so <laughs> i just scored i happened to be the one that scored on some roast today it was already on sale it was going to be on sale for 5.99 pound which i always already kind of thought that was a, a decent price but getting them for three dollars what a blessing um grab some of these just because they were on like a sale um they weren't really on my list to get but you know the kids love those grab some nectarines they were a dollar 49 a pound not a bad price at all and then I love having these diced tomatoes. There, there was no sale or anything like that. Needed some sour cream, wanted some peanuts, um, some chili seasonings. I'm trying to find like some packets that don't have all like the bad stuff in it. So that was kind of hard for me to find. I just want stuff that has just spices. I mean, that would just be great without all the extra preservatives and whatnot. Um, so these seem like the best two choices. I needed. Well, I didn't need these were $2.49 each, and then I bought it, gave me 75 cents back, making them about a dollar sixty per, which is about the same price of an off brand. So went ahead and picked some of those up. Got some biscuits. I like to just have some biscuits on hand. Um, this was, I believe, $5.99, so six bucks. And then I got 75 cents back on I bought it. So I mean it's not an awful price, but my husband loves these drumsticks, so I try to get them when I can for him. This was on sale $3.99 each. Grabbed five of them. I love the thick style, like the thick cut bacon. That one's really good. And then this wasn't anything I was going to buy, but um, I don't think it was even advertised in their ad, but it's $1.99 a pound. Um, look at this like retail price though. $6.49 a pound. Are you kidding me? <laughs> But for some good chicken, for some, it says raged, <laughs> raged, <laughs> it was raised cage free. Um, so from what I've heard that that's better, but I really don't know. Haven't really done much research on it. I love the thin, like the thin cut ones. It says thinly sliced. So all of these packets were $1.99 each. So a very, very decent price considering right now. I think the cheapest you can get is $2.69 a pound. And that's like an Aldi price. So very, very good price. All right. So that was, it really doesn't seem a lot, but the meats is what took up most of my budget. So, all right. That is it for this week. And I will see you in the next week. Okay. This is my last week for the month of July. This is my haul that I ended up getting. It cost me $85. And I actually put all of these ingredients in um, my, my Walmart app and also my Aldi app. And each one of those were saying it was going to be at least $120 to $140 between the two of them. And I only spent $85. So I am so very thankful um, for shopping the deals at Kroger. I'm thankful that we have a Kroger. And so if you guys have a Kroger, y'all need to be shopping the deals. They are amazing. So this week, these were $2.59 each. I grabbed five of them. That's my limit. My limit. And then I am just going to end up putting these in the freezer. Um, I needed some more water, so I grabbed some of that. So this was on sale, $1.99 each. But it's like the, the bigger one. It's the 24-ounce. Focus. There we go. Yeah. So I grabbed five of those. We go through sour cream like crazy. 
And so I'll put one in the fridge up here and then the rest downstairs and I'll be fine. I needed some apple juice, grab five of those. Those were $1.99 each. This one was buy one, get one free. So they're like $5.49 each. <laughs> they only charge me for um, two and I ended up getting four. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. Thank you for the pickup on that one. Um, and then I did some strawberries. This was $3 for two pounds, $2 for some honey ham. These were both $1.49 each. Grab some root beer. We're gonna have some root beer float for dessert tonight. And then grabbed a pork shoulder because you guys, $1.79 for some pork. Uh, yes, please. And then grab some oranges. This was two for seven, three fifty each. That's a really good deal. And then these were a dollar seventy nine each. And then I had a dollar fifty off of two. So that was an amazing price. Made them both. Made them about a dollar four each. So that is my quick little haul here. But that is everything that I got this month. Been a little bit over six hundred dollars. But you guys got some really great stuff. Okay, I almost forgot about my freezer section because I had just thrown those in the freezer and I'm ready to video. But this was buy one, get one free and we needed one for, we're having like a ice cream social at our church. So I needed to get some ice cream. And so we're gonna take this to church and then we're going to use this tonight since we're having like a root beer float night, just like a fun little um, get together with some family. And then this was $4 each, $3.99 on sale. So I grabbed five of them. That's a really good price for DiGiorno. So anywho, um, some really great sales. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys like grocery hauls. I love watching grocery hauls and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing below if you have not already. I'd love to have you here on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.